Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. We are ready. Uh, as ready as I can be, anyway. Good. You come this far, now you simply have to win. Second place is out of the question. <laughs> you never seen the girl this agitated for. You lit a fire under her, that's for certain. And I dropped something, my bad. <laughs> I should not be agitated. He beat the reigning king. The one they said he was all but invincible. By the gods, the devil can take me if this black knight thinks he's the match of the king slayer. Hmm. Hmm? Huh? What? Something the matter? Do you know something about this black knight I don't? Truth be told. Whatever this black knight may be, judging by his previous fights, he stands the equal of any king. Indeed. No man should enter a battle expecting an easy victory. Unless you're like 10-15 levels ahead, then, well... Least of all, against one who has trained the sword by Erdhard. Hmm. Mm. Yet neither should any man shy from battle for fear of defeat. I shall fight with all my strength. And if the gods will that is not enough, then so be it. Agreed? Right. I know how it works. But just make sure you use all your strength. I wouldn't want anything. <laughs> <laughs> your cheeks are turning red, girl. Slash! Ouch! Watch it now, that wound's still healing. <laughs> Coming up! Then don't open your cake hole. <laughs> and from the West Gate, Ulbrich Heisenberg. That's my cue. Greetings. You kept up your end of the bargain. I'm impressed. Well. And I'm impressed as well. You've won hard battles against capable foes. <laughs> Once you mentioned Sir Edhart, I didn't have much of a choice, now did I? Lest I dishonor my, his name as my teacher. He told me a lot of back, about you back when we were both serving in that mercenary band. <laughs> you still lost? Still wondering what that unbending blade of yours is for? Mm. Joshua fought for love. Archbold for the memory of his father and the honor of his line. I once fought to protect someone, but I failed, and that person is no more. Yes, mayhap I am lost, but not today. Today I fight for victory. Indeed. I see you found yourself an answer. Let's see how well it serves you in battle. Prepare yourself. Begin. Let the final duel begin. I will not fail. If it's a seam impenetrable, meh. Oh, because you have two pistons in front of you. They'll go down soon enough. You do look like the Black Knight, I will say. You know, a Black Knight that that I know from a game that a lot of people want me to play. Anyway. How about you? Or at least something from that series again. Sword? Yes, good. Well then. Bring it on. How about axe? Nope, not weak to axe. How about you? I need to find a element you're weak to. Level slash! Ah, he knows level slash. Okay. Let's heal wounds. Okay. Fire. 
No, but you are. That spell is your doom. Here we go. We'll deal with him after we get rid of the guard. How about ice? Cool off. Cool off. Weak to ice. Good. <laughs> so they're dead. Victory shall be We'll get to them in a minute. Out of my way. My turn now. What next? When does this will work? Ice wind? Oh, ice! Piss them through! Piss them through! Bring it on! You're broke. You get two turns. I just noticed that. Cross strike. Level slash. It's fine. It's what I'll is for. The battle is truly joy. Let's... Raise everybody's crit? <laughs> Fly true. Now the true lesson begins. So we can get rid of these two. Blizzard! Yep, there they go. You're next. I'll not be defeated. Kill everybody. We know he's weak to uh, dark bows, axes, and spears. We got that from the the uh, pre-fight thing. But they didn't say fire, at least I don't remember him saying fire. Also weak to dark, but I can't do that in this party, so here we go. At the timing. That just about breaks you. I'll not be defeated. I'll wait a turn. Heal this turn. Let your wounds be <clears throat> you get one turn. You'll get two turns. That's how I'm going to do this. Alvin's going to be the one to break him, basically. And we're going to... Use a point. And... Abide. down a point. Rest. I'll have Ophelia. That'll give me three. I'm gonna turn off. Alfred's auspices? We'll just cast four times. I think it'll be enough. Just in case. In case he tries to do something funny. Black Blade. Like that. Where he can't where he can't boost. See? Ahead. Let your wounds be healed. Triple strike. No. Yeah, I think not. Bring it on. Just in case one would miss. Parallel. This should be game. 
Not as strong as it normally is because we didn't get to do Cyrus's buff, but that's okay. Take 16k. Victory shall be in yellow. Is unbending. Brand's Thunder. I wreak havoc upon thee. With the attack buff. 14k. Wow, you're not down. I'll give you that. I'm just about down. Great the land. And I still have two more casts on top of that. A passing grade. A passing grade. Spike shield and Gustav shield. Damn it. Curse my blade. The victory is yours. We have a winner! All hail the unbending blade! A new king of the arena is crowned! Three cheers for Ulbrich Eisenberg! Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Oh, oh. Did you see that, lads? It. <laughs> Black Knight fought bravely, but the unbending blade has won the day. He won! Did you see that, Ned? He won! <laughs> of course I did. Saw every blow land, and my own wounds ached just watching. <laughs> well played. A good fight. Agreed. Aye, it was that. No shame in losing to the likes of you. Is it so? <laughs> On another day, you could have been the victor. So? Aye, mayhap. But today's your day, and I'll keep my word. When you're ready, come by my room at the end. I'll tell you what I know. As you wish. I will see you anon. Bards will sing of this duel for years to come. All hail the new king! I won, but I'm no close to understanding why I wield my blade. Talk about her. Holy. By the gods, Ulbrich, you're invincible, or near enough to be the same. Nay, I am, a, I am just a man who carries a sword, and has learned how to use it. Today I was better than my opponent. No more, no less. If you say so, hey, uh, what is it? You picked up an injury there, my friend. Can't hide it from me. You don't treat cuts, they, they can get the rot, and then you'll be in trouble. Stop pretending it's nothing and let me fix it for you. It's my job, after all. Thank you. I shall repay you. Ah, shucks. You don't need to do that. <laughs> of course, the, uh, the physician. The apothecary. Nope. You got a wound. I can see it. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. A deal's a deal. You want to find Earhart, and I'll honor my side of the bargain. But let's take it slow. There's much we have to talk about, you and I. If you say so. But what about? Sir Earhart, of course, and what I know of him. I'm listening. Now, where to begin? Tell me, Sir Ulbrich, are you familiar with the land from which Sir Earhart hailed? Some border town in the far reaches of Hornburg. Or so he once told me. Aye, a peaceful village called Grind. At least it was till it was raised in the war. It was long before Lord Earhart became a knight that he lost his home. After that, he joined a band of swords for a spell. It was there he got an idea in his head. 
And so he finally came to serve Hornburg and the Crown as a spy. Oh, preposterous. You mean to tell me that Earhart meant to betray us all along? His eyes always burned with fire when he told the tale. The King of Hornburg turned his back on us, he'd said, and sat on his ass as our homes burned. Nonsense. King Alfred cared for all his subjects. He would never... Lord Earhart claimed otherwise. Either way, he was a man on a mission. If that's true... He'd been plotting the downfall of Hornburg for years. Revenge is made all the sweeter by the passage of time. How sweet it must have been for him when Hornburg fell at last. I don't pretend to admire his deeds, nor claim they are honorable. But then, I've never known the pain and anguish Sir Earhart was forced to bear. Though I wonder sometimes how it made him feel to see justice done. If winning his revenge put his heart at ease. I never asked him, and he never told me. But of all the men in this world, I'd be happy to tell you. You look up to the man, don't you? He taught me to be a true warrior. And I dare say he was a friend as well. I know of little else but the ways of battle. Whatever his sins might have been, I was proud to call him a brother. As was I. Thank you. Happy to have the company and a willing ear. You'll find Sir Earhart in the desert town of Wellspring. You do? Well, I trust you'll do what's right. Even if that means I slay him? Your friend, your mentor, your brother. If that is what you believe he deserves, I reckon he'll accept his fate. And so will I. Whatever the cause he fought for, it does not excuse his deeds. He slew the king he had taken a sworn oath to protect. I will listen to what he has to say. That much I can promise you, but no more. Does Gustav have the right of it? Did Earhart wield his sword for the sake of revenge? If so, does he still wield it, even though the thirst for vengeance has been sated? Could it be that we are the same? Has Earhart, too, lost his purpose? Hey! Where are you running off to? What does it matter? The tourney is over. Our bargain is concluded. It is, but that doesn't mean we can't bid each other Godspeed. Phew. Got you in the nick of time. We won't let you go sneaking away without so much as a fare thee well. Of course. Pray forgive my manners. I could not have gotten this far without you. Both of you. You have my thanks. And you have ours. So, if I can be so bold, where are you off to next? The Sunlands. A town called Wellspring. To finish what I started here. And then? I don't know. Perhaps I'll return ho to the village I came from before here. Well, if you've already got a place to call home, then maybe this means nothing. But if you're looking for a new line of work, 
You could do worse than being a full-time champion. <laughs> the offer is welcome, but it's not the life for me. Thought you might say that, but I had to ask, huh? If you ever have a change of heart, just drop on by. Or even if you don't, you'll always be welcome here. Thank you, friend. I may do just that. In the meantime, take care of those wounds. Don't you worry about me. I'll be fighting fit soon enough. And ready to give a good showing at next year's tourney. A good showing? Now there's an inspiring goal. If you want to stick around in my stable, I'll see you claim the throne. Oi, oi! One step at a time, me lady. I ain't the unbending blade of Hornburg, after all. <laughs> a title and a crest do not a swordsman make. Aye, true enough. Maybe I will go and win it all. <laughs> See what the betters will say about that. Tell you what, if they crown Ned King, you come back and we'll put on a duel the likes of which the city's never seen. I'd like that very much. But today, the road calls. Till our paths cross again, my friends. And so did Ulbrich leave Victor's Hollow behind him, with new knowledge of Earhart's past and present. Now Ulbrich must find her help, and, God's willing, the truth. Even if it means crossing blades with his erstwhile friend. And so to the Sunlands and the desert oasis of Wellspring, Ulbrich's journey continues. And with that concludes chapter two on a, a very, eh, it's hard to say high note because of the seriousness of Ulbricht's story, but hopefully you get what I mean. It is a very uh, meaty ending to, to chapter two. And maybe Ulbricht will find the answers he's looking for. Does Erdhart still wield his blade for revenge? Revenge of what? If he does, he already saw the fall of Hornburg. Why did he do that? Why did he not talk to the king? Talk to Ulbrich about it. Was his need for revenge just that deep? Is it even what he thinks? Did the king really, really betray that village? Maybe he didn't. It was all a huge misunderstanding. And after Ulbert gets the answers he does, what then? What after that? It's the answer he can't can't answer. I do like that our promoter tried to go, <laughs> hey, you could do worse than being a full-time champion. Not the life for Ulbert. But I like her gumption. Eh, still gotta ask, right? Yeah, I mean you do. It's her job. All in all, chapter two was very strong. It really put the wheels in motion for each story. If they didn't already kind of have wheels like Ophelia's. Um, again, the the weakest to me was was Hanette's. Uh, for the reasons I already talked about, that I feel I feel like all her chapter two did was make me want to make me wish we had uh, Xantha in the party instead of Hanette. Which, that's, that's a shame. Um, but everybody else's had some real, some real meat to it. Um, even Ophelia's, although hers was kind of the weaker ones to me. It's just part of her more lengthy journey. With the sacred flame going to each of these towns and, and relighting it. I'm sure hers is going to have a really big really big plot point um, sooner than sooner than later. I feel like hers is really 
really big because the flame seems to be going across the world. Um, really, really intrigued by hers to see what what bad's going to happen. Um, but everybody else, especially my guy Cyrus, his chapter two really took off. Yeah, we got a lot to go with his. His is level 40, so I guess Cyrus will be one of the last ones we tackle, sadly. Because I really want to see what's going to what's gonna go down with him. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope you had a lot of fun. Um, I'm just going to talk about the plans. If you go ahead, want to go ahead and click on the next video whenever it's out. And um, Or if you are interested, please keep watching. Kind of go over the plans of what we're going to do now. I'm going to go look for more of the shrines and see if I can't find any. Just kind of walk around. I'll get into a lot of fights, so I'll do that off 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 screen. Um, Tress's Chapter 3 is in Victor's Hollow. But I think I'm going to do, I'm going to walk... Walk and take all the fights all the way down to Saints Bridge. So we're gonna I'm gonna walk quite a bit, but again, I'm gonna do that off screen to save you all the time, because we've already been through here. Basically see if I run into a uh, another shrine along the way. And we'll start chapter three with Alfin. And see what what he gets up to, since he's already in the party. And then we'll go from there. I guess from there, I might go back to Tressa's, come back to Victor's Hollow, or head head towards Wellspring, since we have two there. We have Ulbrich and Therion. Like I said, because of the levels, we're probably going to do Cyrus's last. And, um, Primrose is also 40, so maybe hers last. Some, one of those two. Probably. Maybe Hanette's last, just because. We'll see. But uh, next time we'll start with Alfin Chapter 3, and I'll go over any shrines that I find. I think that will be... That will be our, our plan of action. So, again, thanks for watching, and I hope you had a lot of fun. Until next time, I'm Sundari9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.